Happy Monday, y'all. I'm coming to you from the floor of my daughter's bedroom. Why? Just because that's where I feel I need to be right now talking to you about prayer. I want to share something with you that um, I definitely pray every day. Sometimes it feels like 24-7 praying for my kids around the clock. But occasionally I do go to each of their bedrooms and and they're not here, they're at school, they're at work, wherever they are, but I'll be on my knees by their bed and I'll be praying specifically for them. And sometimes I, I'm just crying because of something maybe heavy on my heart for that child. Sometimes I don't even know what to say but God knows what's in my heart. Um, there may be times when I've just got the biggest grin on my face thinking about the joys that um, are and the many blessings that's happening in their lives at that moment. And it's always a roller coaster for sure. There's times that I even say, God, here I am again asking about the same prayer request for this child. And God's not giving up on them. I'm not gonna give up on them. And they're great kids, but prayer is always needed for all of us. And I was looking back on some journal entries, and this one, talking about my kids, I had said, it said, in the midst of my prayer one time, I said, God, is it too much to ask? And when I asked that in the middle of my prayer, it was as if God whispered to me immediately. He said, of course not. You know that nothing is too big for me, especially when you are asking me for my children to strive to be more like me. And that is exactly what I want to do. I want my kids to desire God and His will for their life. And you know what? You may not have biological children, but maybe you have children that have come in and out of your life, whether it's through fostering, whether it's through friends of your children. Maybe you're a teacher. Maybe you're a Sunday school teacher. Maybe it's a neighbor. There's someone, some child in your life that is looking for um, examples on how you actually... Um, how you live your life for God and be a good example. And I hope that you will be praying for those people that you come in contact with, especially those little eyes that are watching. And here, I'm going to read for you today from Philippians 1, 9 through 11. And this is going to be my prayer for you today. I pray that your love will overflow more and more and that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. For I want you to understand what really matters so that you may live pure and blameless lives until the day of Christ's return. What a glorious day that will be. May you always be filled with the fruit of your salvation, the righteous character produced in your life by Jesus Christ. For this will bring much glory and praise to God. So I pray you keep on praying, keep on praising, and bringing glory to God. Happy Monday, y'all. Have a great week ahead.